Sanjeev, could you tell me a little bit more about Leeds and your original time starting to write your first novel in Leeds? Yeah, sure. So I started my first book when I was about 24, 25 um, years old and I was living and working in, in Leeds at the time and it was around that time that the 7-7 um, London bombings happened and uh, the, um, the ringleader of those attacks was a guy called Mohammed Siddiqui Khan who was um, from Beeston mm -hmm. and that wasn't um, very far, a mile and a half or so from where I um, was living at the time so I think that started various thoughts in my head about um, you know, about what would make a young man who in some respects was very similar to me, you know, um, the son of immigrants brought up in the um, north of England. So I think what would the psychology of a man like that um, have to be to make him want to you know, commit an act of you know, gross damage or to harm the country in which he was born. So, um, and that all happened while I was working in Leeds, walking around Leeds, um, sort of experiencing the landscape of Leeds. And how did you fit that writing process into having a full-time job and a family and commuting? It was, um, I didn't have a family at the time, so, but it, well, <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did have a full-time job and I was, um, it was writing was an, an evening and weekend pursuit. Um, so, um, and any holidays I had, I'd, I'd spend um, writing or trying to write. And writing is mostly just an act of deleting what you've written, I find, <laughs> for me. You know, so um, it was just making sure I could, um, I used any um, spare minute I had. And um, to what extent did the landscape of Leeds inform or inspire you while you were in the city? It, so actually, in, I think I was in, um, well it certainly inspired um, my second book, and it's my second book, The Year of the Runaways, it's about a bunch of illegal immigrants working um, for very little pay, um, the sort of, in in areas like construction or the, the service industry and takeaways and so forth. And walking around Leeds at that time and subsequently when I, um, I lived in Leeds, my second stint in Leeds, which was um, in 2011, 2012, um, there was a lot of construction happening. Mm. I remember walking around and seeing these, these buildings going up, these hotels going up, and seeing some of the, of the men walk, working on those sites and um, just wondering about you know, their backgrounds and their histories and I also go back to um, I go to India um, frequently once or twice a year and meeting young men who had been over here in the north of England in cities like Sheffield and Leeds and Manchester and working in those cities so it was it was it felt to me like there was there was a novel there if I just um, thought about it hard enough. And what were the challenges as an author of writing the North and Northern cities like Leeds and Sheffield for a readership that is going to be global, that is transnational, that's as likely to be in the UK as it is in India? Yeah, I, d I didn't feel a challenge in the sense that I felt I needed to explain the North or I needed to sort of um, be some sort of ambassador for the North. The cities are distinct, the cities have their own, and part of, you know, Sheffield is its topography, its landscape is very different to Leeds, which obviously is very different to um, Manchester. And there is a sense in which, you know, when I'm writing a place, almost it's less so about rendering it, more about just of, almost just creating it anew, um, because it has to be, it has to fit the psychologies of of the characters. The Year of the Runaways has gone on to be critically lauded. It's shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize. How has being nominated for such a major literary award affected you as a writer, and also obviously the the life of the book? Oh, it's been it's been amazing to be you know, nominated um, for you know prize that I I followed um, you know, growing up and and continue to follow, and it's had you know. The whole point about writing for me is, well, the writing sort of half the act, and the other half is, is people reading um, the book. It's sort of like the book is almost just a bridge between, you know, between um, two people, the writer and the reader. So the prize, the nominations, you know, it's all meant that the the book's getting into more hands, and in some sort of way, I feel like I'm sort of communicating um, with people through through the book and. That's that's the whole, you know, that's the that's the merit in the endeavour for me. So that's that's been absolutely the best thing, and it's had just a wonderful effect on sort on sorts of um, the life of the book internationally as well in terms of 
other um, publishing houses around the world um, becoming interested and other mediums becoming interested as well. So it's, it's been transformative. So 2015 has been a great year and lots ahead for 2016. 2015 has been an amazing year, um, one of the best. I been, feel like I've been very fortunate and absolutely I hope it continues into, into the new year and beyond. Sanjeev, thank you. Thank you.